Hi guys, my name is Rocky Rondo, and right now you're probably wondering who I am. The simple answer is, if you're watching this, most likely I'm a really good friend of one of your parents. Right now, I'd like to take a little time to introduce myself more and talk to you about the thing I love the most in this world, and that's art. So let me take a moment now to tell you a little bit about myself. Again, my name is Mrs. Rondo, and I'm an art teacher. I'm also a mother of these two adorable little boys. Along with their dad, we live in a not so little town named Atlanta, Georgia. I know many of you are from lots of other places, so let me tell you a little bit about where I live. My hometown is probably best known for hosting the 100th Olympiad in 1996. Now that was a long time ago. Probably your parents and I were about the age you are now. We're also famous for having the world's largest aquarium. It's a place that I love going with my boys. And we happen to be home to what I consider to be one of the greatest gifts to mankind, Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets. But right now, you're probably asking, why does any of this matter? Well, why are we here? I, like you, am not in school right now. And I've heard from your parents that you're missing it a lot. I know that I miss my students and I miss making art. So I was trying to think about a way that I might be able to do that even though we're not able to be at school right now. So it seemed like a good time to talk to you about art, especially my favorite artist, Peter Max. Peter Max, just like us, was living in a time that was a little difficult. It was the 1960s and 70s in America and a lot was going on. This is a time period that I definitely encourage you to ask your parents about. While there was a lot to be upset about, there was also a lot of hope. And Peter Max, like many, chose to focus on the positive. His art was all about peace, love, joy, and unity. Things that I think we could all use right now. So let's talk about his style. What exactly is style? Well, it's many things. But in art, we tend to use the word style when we try to talk about the overall look, what ties art pieces together? How do you know something is a Peter Max and not art made by somebody else? Well, Peter Max's art are all about two main things, positivity and hope. And his style is very, very unique. The Peter Max style is all about bright colors. The more fun and the more saturation, the more he is into using it. It's also about using colors in new and unexpected ways. Sometimes colors just don't look like they're going to work together, but somehow Peter Max makes them work. He loves to put warm colors and cool colors together in brand new ways. In case you don't know the difference between warm colors and cool colors, warm colors are like these on the left. I try to tell my students, think about all the hot colors that remind you of the sun the yellows, the oranges, the hot beaches, and then think of cool colors as taking a dip in the ocean, all the blues, purples, the green of the algae. I think that's a good way to remember it. When Peter Max puts these two together, pop, you get some amazing bright artworks that just you can't help but look at. Peter Max loves sunbursts. You'll see sunbursts and stars in almost all of his work. They're kind of his signature style. As you can see, the rays of sunshine really suggest hope and a future that is brighter than the one we have now. Peter Max, positive, positivity and peace are at the heart of everything he does. Whether he's using a symbol of a dove or a peace sign itself, or even the words. He likes to send out a message of joy and hope in all that he does. He's also very proud to have immigrated to the United States. And a lot of his work has American flags, the Statue of Liberty, and other elements that remind us that it's great to live in a country where freedom is allowed. Peter Max grew up in Nazi Germany. His family had to flee because they were Jewish. For a while, they lived in China, and then they moved to the United States. He has always said that the ability to live in the United States, where he was safe to be who he was, was something that was very influential in his life. In fact, 
Every year since 1976, Peter Max has painted an image of the Statue of Liberty on the 4th of July, some of which, like the one in the center, have been used on U.S. postal stamps for at least 20 or 30 years. Peter Max really wants everyone to just paint what makes them happy, whether it's your favorite Disney character or your favorite beach scene. He wants you, as do I, to do art that just makes you feel good. And that brings us to what I'm going to ask you to do today. We're going to make a painting in the style of Peter Max. If you have these supplies at home, that's great. If you don't, there are a lot of different things you can use to work in his style. Today I'm going to ask you to find a piece of paper. The thicker, the better, because we're going to use watercolors, and watercolors can get really messy on thin paper. If you have it and your parents okay it, today would be a good day to use a black Sharpie. And if not, you could always use a black crayon. If you don't have watercolors, think about using crayons, markers, or even chalk. I know that we are all artists, and all artists work differently. Some people just like to go ahead and get started. If you're ready and you like what you've seen and you think you know what you're going to do, go ahead, use the materials and get creative. If you want to keep watching, I'm going to show you a few examples and I'm even going to link to a, a few extra videos where I walk through techniques for those who might want to learn more. So here are two pictures that I roughed out quickly this morning. I try to think about all those things we talked about in Peter Max's work. The common image of sunshine and sunbursts, the focus on peace, unity, and love, and also American pride. And I came up with these two different designs. Now, sometimes when I'm coming up with ideas, my first one isn't so good. So I always encourage my students to keep trying. Make three, maybe even four different ideas in small sketches before you commit to a big design. Then, once you have it all planned out, go ahead and sketch it onto big paper. Here, I just used a regular number two pencil. As you can see, this is the finished work. On the left, I was using Sharpie and watercolor. And on the right, I played a little bit with a water resist, using wax crayons, both white and black, first, and then adding color on top. These are my examples, but I can't wait to see yours. I know this isn't the same as being back at school, and while we all wish we could be, hopefully this little project brings a little bit of happiness to you today. I know that I really enjoyed making this. I highly encourage it. If you can, I was able to sit outside and paint this morning, and it was a great start to my day. Again, when you're all finished, ask your mom or dad to take a picture and see if they would email it to me. I can't wait to see what you've done, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Hope you're doing well. Bye.